Hey y'all, and welcome to part three of the banjo backup series. In this video, we'll be using what I call the filler roll to play I'll Fly Away. Let's get started. All right guys, first we need to talk about what the filler roll actually is. Uh, this roll is very important when playing Scrug style banjo because it is pretty much uh, a lead out or lead in coming out of a forward roll. Now, in our next video, we'll be using a forward roll and a filler roll together to get the desired backup we want. So this roll right here is gonna be very important. And let me show you how it goes. All right, y'all, let's slow that filler roll down. You're gonna start off on your third string with your thumb. Then you're gonna go back up to your fifth string with your thumb. Then take your index and hit your third string. Then middle finger, first string. Index finger again to the middle string. Then you're gonna take your thumb to the fourth. Middle finger, first. And thumb to the third one more time. So it sounds like this. you'll do whenever we're doing a roll with the filler roll or rolling through you'll just add the cording of the four string second fret so it'll go like this Just like the big stroll that you learned in part two, the filler roll, you'll also bounce as such. Now that's up to speed, how it will sound uh, a little bit slower. Let's try adding chords in that now. I'll Fly Away has G, C, and D chords, as we know. The C position, as you know from the prior videos, right here. How you play it, it's only slightly different. You're using the same filler roll, only hitting different strings. And I'll show you that right now. So whenever you go into your C position, you'll play it like this. in that C chord position right here. Let's see what strings you need to hit for that specific fill roll. In this, you'll be using the thumb on your second string. Then going back up to your first string with your thumb. Second string with your index. First string with your middle. Index. Middle string. Thumb four string. Middle finger, first string, then thumb on the second string. It'll sound like this. Now there's also a D chord in I'll Fly Away. So let's see what that filler roll sounds like for that chord position. It'll go like this. Mm -hmm. 
And that without the chord sounds like this. slow that down for this D position it's a little bit different than the D7 and we're learning some new chordage here <laughs> this D you will chord the third string second fret and you can use either your pinky or your ring finger like I like to use a lot on your four string fourth fret so sounds like. Now let's slow down that filler roll for that position. So you're going to play an open four string fifth string middle string string middle string with the index and you're going to place your finger down on the fourth fret fourth string and hit it with your thumb then first string middle finger and open fourth again with your thumb so it sounds like this y'all once you've got used to the filler roll and have practiced it with the chords we can get along to playing i'll fly away i've got our metronome going right here uh, remember to have the song in your head the words sing with it in your mind and it helps you to learn how to do this whole process a lot better so let's try to play and sing along so Here's I'll Fly Away with the metronome and no singing. Here we go.
important thing to remember when using this fill roll is that you'll be using this roll for the rest of your playing career. Um, it, you can use it on almost anything. 85 to 90% of bluegrass songs you play, you'll be able to use this roll as long as it's in 4-4 four, four time. Um, and how that would sound upbeat when playing I'll Fly Away would be something like this. So, Beat, you can tell it sounds really good whenever you have it going at the pace you want. But uh, don't think that this is just limited to this song. Uh, the what I call the filler roll is in almost every bluegrass song. Um, it can be used on "Rolling My Sweet Baby's Arms." Uh, Rolling my sweet baby's arms. Rolling my sweet baby's arms. It's just a great way to keep a roll, and it leads into learning the forward roll, which is our next video. All right, y'all, that's part three of the banjo backup series using the filler roll. Next up is the forward roll in part four of this series, and we're going to take the forward roll and implement it with the filler roll, changing your backup and your plan pretty much forever. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel here at Big Red Music and check out my patreon.com slash big red music page for tablature and other stuff. All right, guys, till next time, let's pick.